Welcome back to Small British Steps. We are uh, we're in the VAB. We're actually about to launch a, a plane, a space plane, a space plane, a rocket plane. But we're actually in the the VAB because uh, we're going to start building another launch complex. It's going to be for the Javelin. This is our our Javelin One A Four. The four means we've got these little four side boosters. Um, let me just say, tell you what. We'll just we'll just pull it up so you can actually have a good look at what it is. So, the Javelin One A Four. The side boosters are. Basically, each one is four Spectre engines on this nice little tip of thing. So we've got a, uh, we've got the basically this bottom section is these are about yeah these are 750, um, 750 centimeters across, um, and we've got um, we've got seven hundred fifty centimeters across. Yeah, that's right. And then we've got um, this first little block here, which is about two meters in length, normal cylinder. And then at the top here, we have a smoothed cone, round one, and you can see we've got offset by about three hundred. So if we look down. It's pretty much curving in to to the center. They're a bit sort of Soyuzy actually. We have a little decoupler set down here, um, and then in the center we've got a two meter diameter thing. You'll notice it is actually um, it's set to uh, it's it's a uh, isogrid. What used to be what integral integral I think it was called originally. So it's now isogrid uh, aluminium gridded tank uh, in the center there, and it has a, a new engine for us, the Delta Three, which is going to be the one that we research after we finish the material science it's the next step for us um, and then above that we've got sort of avionics standard avionics core se section and then on top of that we have ourselves just a a tank with a bit more fuel and we're actually going to overburn and that gives us about 7000 meters per second which should be enough i believe with this really high thrust to weight ratio these strap-ons to actually uh do the downrange distance contract so this this craft should allow us to complete um, all the things that we need to complete for um, the basically the downrange development contracts. It is it should if we stick an extra bit on it, be able to do I think most of the stuff to almost orbit, and then if we get a decent second stage on it, it should be able to do orbit. So this is going to be the javelin one. The javelin two is when we'll we'll operate this top section, put an extra second stage on properly. We may do a javelin one. Uh, B that has a second stage, but it'll probably use lower lower quality tech. It'll probably use a Spectre engine on it to, to do stuff like that. Um, so we'll we'll see what happens. That that's the aim for this anyway. So why am I looking at this? Quite simply, we've got to build a new launch complex for it. I want to start that now and see how much it's going to cost. So we're going to go to the new launch complex. We're going to call this the um, Javelin Javelin One Launch Complex. One, are we going to call it Javelin One? Yeah, we'll call it Javelin One because we'll probably do a Javelin Two operated version, but that will also launch from this one. Um, so, what do we want? Uh, maximum tonnage. I actually only want the maximum tonnage up to about eighty-four. I think. I think that's where I want to go um, because I'm going to have to go down eighty-three, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to go to eighty-three because um, I think. I think I've got a craft that weighs less than this. I think I do. How much does that weigh if I take that off? How much does that drop us down? 72. Um, it's about the strap-on boosters. They weigh quite a lot. I may end up putting two onto one of these just as a test flight um, because it does save us potentially a lot of uh, fuel. And development time not having the strap-ons it's whether it's whether I want to push it a bit and build a second I suppose we'd have to build a bigger a bigger craft anyway um, <clears throat> I think my orbital craft is going to be about 81 82 tons but I want to give myself a bit of leeway um, that is tight that is very tight I think I think I go for it um, I think that's going to be all right I think that's going to be all right. 83 is going to be all right. That should then allow me to do the removal of strap-ons. Right, and then we need to look at the, the maximum height limits. I want that to go to at least 30 meters. That's right. Um, we don't need to be human rated at the moment. We might end up having to build a new pad that, what does that do to it? Wow, that, that really makes it cost more, doesn't it? Um, if we go to build a craft to put crew into orbit, this potentially, when we operate it could do that. I think we'll build a special pad for that though in that case. Um, 
or we'll see if we can modify one of these to make it human rated. I think you might be able to. Uh, maximum engineers, 275. Wow. Um, now the difficult bit. Because we're building this, uh, potentially do a few different things, we're going to have to upload some, uh, uh, overload some stuff. So HTTP at the moment is 9182. We're going to take that up to 10. 19.7 and I've done that because I've actually looked at a potential craft that has a higher amount of HTTP on it and I've taken that higher amount of HTTP put it in there okay uh, kerosene uh, 266 we're gonna leave that as it is and liquid oxygen I am happy leaving that as it is because this tank at the top has an awful lot of liquid oxygen in it I think that more than covers us so I think that's the only change it's gonna be quite a bit to do um, I think I'm happy with that. Maximum tonnage is okay. Maximum everything is okay. I think we're going to build it. There we go. Then we're going to go to the management screen. We're going to look at construction. And that's going to take a chunk of our funds. So we're going to put it down to zero. Okay, it's just going to sit there. In fact, you know what? We're going to, we're going to just work it at uh, a little bit. We'll just work it at 15%. Just to get it underway. It's still going to cost us 36000 to build this thing not hugely expensive but noticeable okay noticeable right so there we go so that's that done we can't build this yet because we haven't finished the research we're not in a hurry to do that but we can just tick away and knocking it off so it doesn't have a big impact on us so that's that done um let's go and launch a plane i think this now we've spent all the big money so i should say the bonus about all that is we would pull up our um finance we can say we're making 170 a day currently if i do that we're actually almost at 200 so what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to put it at 20%. Okay, that takes a while for it to build. We're not massively in a hurry for it just yet. I think uh, how much is it going to take it? At 100%, how much does it take? Actually, that's worth us looking at. Um, where are we? Uh, change this to change this to to date times. That's going to take us 190 days. Research. We would need to do this, this, and this. Oh, actually, you know, we'd put it back on date. This is actually the best way to do it, isn't it? Um, so that's 1955, 16, if we put it on combined, uh, and then we go, staff, staff doesn't do it, does it? No. Um, if we put it on combined, let's have a look. We're looking for basic rocketry. That's the one we want for those engines. So 16, 11, 55. So construction. 161155 that's the one there that would be 77 funds that would be it finished at about the same time so we know that at 40% there we go that's perfect for us isn't it that's brilliant i'm happy working with that that i that i'm happy with at some point we'll have to put some staff into it and that's where it's going to get painful because we've got 3 there we've got 20 there we've got 90 59 there to um do I actually get all those stuff in there? It's going to be a nightmare. Oh, I should add, we've now upgraded again. We're on version uh, twenty, uh, version 2.6.2, I think it is. So we just updated. There's been a couple of updates since the last one. Um, so this has been updated again. So hence why when we go to staff, it now has this wonderful thing that says whole shift for these different things. Quite nice. I quite like that. Nice little line added in there. Um, I, forget, I always forget that it shows you the total salaries. Uh, researchers are 100. Um, we're just holding it there because we're actually low on funds. We're going to need about 70,000 funds to tool some of those vehicles. Um, so we need to somehow get the stuff and things sorted. However, we need to focus on something else. We have a Chromebook one uh, R1 ready, so we need to launch something. Now, we could go for this the experiment one. 24 days have passed, that's all. So we need to wait for that one. So we're looking at the experiment rocket plane one. I'm going to launch crew to 20 kilometers. That's it. No jet engines allowed. Uh, reach 550 kilometer meters per second between 10 and 20. Done. We're going to take that one, get it done. Experiment rocket plane down vanishes. We've got some downrange distance ones to do. I'm not sure. What have we got? Are they coming up soon? Yeah, we've got those coming up shortly. I'm going to put it back onto. You know what? I just like seeing the number of days. So we've got the dart, which is just science gathering. Um, and we've got the Atlatl, which is going to be in 75 days. That contract is how far gone? Yeah, that's going to be all right. So that's because these now 
one of the things with the update is the um the elapsed time expected days has gone up um up to from 90 i think it was to 135 which is probably better actually and the supersonic ones up to oh that's getting nice and big now isn't it um so when we get when we get a craft that can do that i will be happy that's quite nice i think we can do that straight away with our craft this one i don't think we can so the x planes low supersonic is an optional one i think we'll run as a first test with that that craft when it's built right um let's air launch this thing we have to change this a little bit we're going to move it back by three to 350 yeah i think so um we currently only have one pilot that can do this so i don't know it's not giving me the opportunity to choose a pilot i'm assuming that's because the pilot is there. Oh no, here we are, now we are. Right, so we've got Claire Woods. If I remove Claire Woods, then I don't, you can see we've only got one pilot available. One is being trained up, one is on holiday, and then we'll be trained up for the mission. So the mission training thing's a bit, it's not something I normally do. Right, let's um, let's do this thing. Right, we are flying. I don't know why we guide this so up. I must've been doing something. Um, so we're gonna put the autopilot on. We're going to do that. We're gonna fire our engines. You notice how rapidly I jumped to do this then. Um, we are uh, flying off there, we just take our time. Um, sometimes I think with rocket planes, if you start hammering the buttons while you wait for it to jump to the correct point, you know, to do the transition into the atmosphere, it sort of plays a bit. We have got to get, let's have a look, we've got to get between 10 and 20 kilometers, we've got to reach that altitude and we've got to be doing that speed on the way there. So I'm not in a hurry to get up. Um, what I am wanting to do is make sure that the science is ready to do some science because we always want some science. Getting a lot of drag on this craft, let's you know. And that is interesting. Those engines have got right. We're now over what we're requiring, I think. Let's have a look. Is it going to tick it off now? It is done. So now we've just got to get up to 200. So, so we'll just go. Sorry. Oh! Something just popped. What just popped? We just had an error. Something's just blown. What was it? What just blew up? What just blew up? Um, F3. Um, something failed due to aerodynamic stresses. What was it? What is it that just failed? Uh, I don't see a problem with parachutes. I don't see a problem with anything else. Um, I don't know what we've lost. I'm actually trying to see. Something exploded. Is there something inside here, maybe? A structure of some sort that we've lost? I don't know. Um, that's a little bit concerning. What broke? The wingtips, maybe? We did a pull-up. We lost something. It's not labelled. So we don't know if Claire is going to survive this crash, this flight calling it a crash already that's a brilliant one um right we are we're gonna level out okay there we go we're just gonna do that okay we've got 17 seconds we're doing a bit of the old sky sky science do a little bit again the altitude there we go I'm quite happy doing that right look at that speed oh that is so fast we could actually go in a higher arc, I think. We'll probably be in for 75 just to for, for the sake of it. Right, so what blew up? Have we can we see anything that's different? Did we have something on the ends of the wings previously? Did I have end wing end plates? I don't know if I did. Right, we've not lost anything under there. Is there anything missing inside the engines? I do not see it. I don't see anything wrong in the engines. Is there anything? That's the tail. That's the, the the edge of that tail section. Tail section's all there. Um, let's check this again. We had failure due to aerodynamic stress. Something has popped. Right. It's not. We've got a little flag there. Was there a flag on the side of the craft? Is that what we've lost? It could be. I think flags come. I think like flags that you've stuck on are considered to be like aerodynamic. Like they don't get a name, do they? Um. Right. If you want to re recall, rewind the video and have a look and see what you think exploded, please put a comment down below. I don't know what it is. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I have not got a clue what just exploded on this craft. Something popped. There was two of them, I think. Well, we know there was two of them. I think they were on either side. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, though. I have not got a clue as to what is going on here. Right. On a positive note, the, uh, the high altitude flight science is now up to uh, 1.8 done on this mission, which is a big chunk. Now 18 minutes required. It's going to be about 18, uh, 17 point, uh, 17 minutes, yeah, 17 minutes, 56 or something left. And I think we've almost finished the other one, which was the crew report. So that's looking good for us. Now we can just, uh, what, what was it? Is it something important that I've just not noticed has actually broken? I mean, is that, is that what we're looking at? We're going to put this in a dive and see if I can pull out of the dive. Um, we'll do a bit of this and a bit of this. There we go. Oh, that is a lot of G. That is a lot of G. Um, remember, sea monsters, just just how hard you are pulling. Right, come on, come on, come on. I've just realized that this is probably the stupidest maneuver I've ever done. We are going down towards the ground at stupid, stupid speeds. You can see the G meter is really buffeting. Uh, we are losing, we are losing a lot of energy right now. Oh, we are. This is this is not the efficient, the, the sensible way of doing this. Uh, just if, in case you're interested, this is not this is not what is recommended in the old handbook. Right, we're just pulling it around. There we go. Where's the base? The base over there somewhere, I think. We're going to head towards that area over there. We've done a bit of a loop. I think it's probably there actually. If I if I could be bothered, if I could be bothered, if I chose to turn and have a look at the uh, at the old camera um i'd be able to find out right yeah we're, we're much more in this sort of realm of flying now this is this is better uh can anybody the only problem with the australian outback seeing the base is quite difficult now one thing i used to do is you can actually have it you can have the base um change its colors to match the environment so we've got it in like sand formation sort of thing but you can actually force it to keep the green I think I think you can. Um, I have not done that, but in future I would. Oh, we're underneath a cloud layer, obviously. Can anybody see anything that looks like a a, a a base that I'm aiming for? Is that over there? Let's have a look. Where are we? Um, we are. We're north of it, so I need to go south. Okay, let's see. Where's what's south of us? Uh, turn turn south. Is that, is it south? Do I want to go south? Um, am I not going south already? Let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm going that way. Let's do that a bit more. That's it. Let's keep going. I don't see it. Uh, we're going to head north. That's the logical way of dealing with this situation. We'll head the exact opposite direction to where we think we should be going. That says we're heading. What? What on earth? I suppose it's taking into account the the uh, rotation of the old planu yet right i am happy to pop some parachutes now uh hello there we go Ooh, oh i had i had vertical velocity that's a new i was going upwards right um that's us pulling that i'd like to know how far from the base we are i don't know where we are i got completely distracted by the parrot web something x hold on a second why is me nose so far down? Have we got both parachutes? We have both parachutes deployed. Okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna rush this down to the ground. I want to know what broke. If I'm honest, I would love to know what it is that actually broke on this craft. I think I think we've got some sort of um, conformal decal on it. I can't remember put it on, but maybe we do have one. Um, and if we do, more fool me for leaving it on but something popped with aerodynamic stress. We completed the mission, didn't we? I mean, I've come completely distracted by the whole process um, of completing this mission now. I'm just too focused on the fact something blew up on the craft and we pulled. So, not to self, don't pull up too hard. Error, 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 what's it called? Air, oh, fly-by-wire, air, airplane, autopilot, whatever it's called. Um, that used to stop me doing that, but I've, I do have a tradition of ripping the wings off craft. If you watch the British series, we managed to rip the wings off. I think probably a couple of planes. I think I managed to land one of them without wings. 
uh, or or at least with big chunks of wings missing. This is coming down quite quickly. I wonder why. Is it heavier than normal or is it just me? Uh, we're down. Okay. Well, the plane is down. I suppose we'll recover it and see what's happened. Uh, mission is complete. Let's just check that. Yeah, mission is complete. 16 of those wonderful fundy things that give us money, money, money. So we're over 500 now. Over 100,000 at the moment. Uh, so, oh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Subsidy cap at... Oh, we're at, the, we're at it. We're at the peak. Okay. So we can't go any higher. There's no point us going any higher now. There's no point doing any more rep work. Oh, that's uh, disappointing. All right, so we've got 0.6 from high altitude flight recovered. Okay, got that, got that. We're not getting that crew science. We're at 22 science, which is all right. Um, let's have a look. The, that's being recovered. We're now at a point where we're, we're maxed out at 504 rep. So what does that mean for us? It means if I do any more reputation things, I don't believe it's able to go any higher. Or it go higher, but then we have to bring it down. So we're going to hold off on that, and I'll show you why. We have currently got. Let's have a look. At Douglas. Douglas is currently our research sort of partner thing, and uh, we've got Galishko as well. But we're going to keep him. Reputation on removing assistant leader, ten percent more. That's horrible, but we'll live with it. Uh, we're going to get rid of Douglas. Leader cannot be re-equipped for any position until 365 days have passed removal. We're going to get rid of it when we finish the material science thing because we kept it for two of those nodes because it was giving us that plus 10 material science research. It does have a minus 10 for early and orbital rocket research speed. So we need to get rid of it. Otherwise, we're going to have basically a 20% swing in our research rate when we jump to do early rocketry. So what we'll do is we'll, if this is capped out, when we lose it, because we lose some, we lose 110 currently. That's that's. Why does that go up? Why is your reputation tied to these people working with you? I, I, I sort of get it, but it's annoying because it means why would I ever want to change them? And do I lose it Um, if they retire? Like, okay, they're not going to retire. Oh, yeah, retires on the, the... So if I keep this until it retires, do I then remove that? Like, if I keep Glushko until he retires, does that mean when he retires... I don't have to pay that fee or am I going to get hit by that immediately as soon as he retires? Because this I want to take off. Um, we'll have a look around to see if there's anything else. Flight research speed, mm, reputation conflict. It's not bad, actually. Uh, what we got? Minus flight research speed, integration speed of cockpits. This one, speed of all, all craft integration. Minus 10 speed of researching. That's never going to happen. Uh, terms of funds for hiring new employees. 5% mm, speed from efficiency. Don't need that. Oh, actually, hold on. 5% speed of beneficiaries gain. Oh, so they gain it quicker. Okay, I don't, don't need that. 10% uh, science of research. That's nice. 10% 10 10 for vessel purchases and launches. Ooh. If you're not building many vessels, but you're doing a lot of research, that is worth having. However, you might as well just, for us, we just hire another 10 researchers. 10 researchers would cover it and we probably would make our money out of it. So where are we at on the research front? On the research front, 165 days, then we're gonna think about potentially getting rid. Um, we do have mature supersonic flight there. What's that for? Why have I got mature supersonic flight, flight first? Let's have a look. Mature supersonic flight, that gives us the Oh, that gives us the uprated Avon because we're currently using the basic Avon, aren't we? Um, and then we want to operate it. However, is that craft going to be ready in that time? That's a good question. And we've got the rocket plane contracts to rock out. So maybe I want to... No, we'll keep it the way it is because we've actually timelined everything. And then the orbital one still takes 300 and something. So that's a bit of a problem. Okay. We're not in a mass hurry. We've got time because if we look in here again... The, this contract we've got six years for. That's that's not going to be a problem. We're going to finish that within six years. I don't mind that. Um, that takes us to 1960. So going orbital by 1960, yeah, it's probably a good target because as soon as I jump to these orbital ones, I'm pretty much going to want to try and do them. We'll probably finish this a couple of years early. This one is supposed to finish by 1960 as well. So they're both 1960s. This one we want to hold on to because we get big cash in the next one, two, three, three years from now. 
we start to get big, big monies. So at the moment, we're on about 60,000 60, a year. We're going to up to 104. Now, obviously, that's nothing compared to, for example, you know, science uh, satellites, the, the heavy satellites, 175,000. Um, and then if we look at one of the ones I want to go for, crude orbit, that is big. I mean, that is that starts to get really juicy for us. So that's something we would look at probably next. Um, I should point out, jumping back again, when we started this, we had two places to put things. We actually use a slot system now. So you'll notice we've got a maximum of five slots. We're using two. Each of these uses two slots. But if you look through, so these are two slotters. This is a, the heavy is a three slot. So we could do that and something else. Um, integrating integrated satellites, one slot. Uh, communications network, one slot. Um, communication geostationary communication, two slots. So you could potentially have, um, for us, if we had a few of those one slotters, you could have three or four programs underway at once. Um, but equally, let's have a look. You've got um, crew to orbit is three slots. So that means I can have that and two more slots. But that might be just. I know, geostationary communication satellite, or it might be uh, early in a planet. Okay, so we have to think about that. We're getting to the point where we start to think about where we're gonna we're gonna focus our, our things on. Right, um, let us get our craft recovered and see if we can figure out what the difference is. While we are waiting, we've got mission training to give to Roy. There you go, Roy. Start your training. That's going to take you six days. Uh, Claire Wood is going to be away until the 18th of August. So she's she's had a good, uh, she's getting, what, two, three weeks, three weeks off, something like that. Um, and we've got proficiency coming up on the 1st of August for Elsie Gray. So that'll be good. That means that she'll be then in the rotation as well on the X1 cockpit. Uh, Mission-wise, ah, there we go, X planes high altitude. Is that the one? Yes, yeah, so this one stops being doable. Where is it? The optional contract. Oh, this one. Oh, we've got loads of optional contracts now, haven't we? Uh, X planes research. That's the one we're going to do. Experimental one. Oh, we've done the X planes rocket one, right? So we've got this one to do. Oh, now that's interesting. So it's three contracts of which two have been completed. Did we do that? No, I thought we'd done a standard ex uh, experimental rocket plane. This looks like the other one. It looks very much like it. I wonder if that's just been the way it's been rejigged. Uh, so this one is a series of two contracts uh, of which zero that occur. After two completions, the X-Plane Carmen Line contract will be available. So this one go is go up to 40 kilometers. Once we do that, this one will not be available. So we've got one more run of this. Well, then we'll have to jump to this one. And that'll be 40 and then I'm guessing 60 or something like that. Um, and then the Carmen line will be available. And then what else have we got? We've got the low supersonic optional. That's jet. That's jet. So we, we've got very little in the way of rocket plane left, actually. We may have to look at developing a little bit more. Um, have we actually got... You know, I'm jumping around a lot, aren't I? Uh, we've we got... Yeah, there we go. So we've got experimental rocket planes finished. So we've got those two there, the supersonic and the Mach 2 supersonic. Those two are jet. And then the high altitude and Kármán line, that is going to be, um, that there is definitely going to be rocket planes. And the Kármán line will require us to put up a different vehicle, I think. So we're going to have to then start looking at next steps. With that in mind, I think we have to go for this. That's 12. And then I think we also have to go for... Oh, hold on a second. We are a step behind because that's not the engine I thought it was. That's the one I actually need. So the or, that big orbital rocketry is the one that's holding us back. Okay. Right, so we, we need that. I want that for orbit, but I don't desperately need it. But I do want avionics, and then I'm going to have to do all this stuff. Um, let's take that because we need to start thinking about it. Then I think we take this because it would be useful to have, maybe. Uh, Delta that, that improves the craft generally. And then we've got these interesting D-spec engines that actually I've not specced. So we could do some interesting stuff. Um, or we go this way and we get avionics. 
let's get that first because i think that's going to give us a nice platform for launching sustainably to orbit and then we need to look down here at avionics then this then we'll work through the science the science is something we really want to get for some of the the more complex of so 7 14 24 32 38 sorry 38 science 32 28 science is what i need 28 science is what we need to do anything so with the realization that i'm actually looking at the wrong thing if we go to to this we can see that orbital rocketry uh is that actually 1956 15th to 10th 1956 that's an awful long way away so we go construction 15th 1956 is going to be... Is good. Well, that's the closest. That's almost nothing. So I then start thinking, do we need to hire some more researchers? Is actually what I'm thinking. Um, I think we are going to have to look at doing that. The problem is we've got a lovely... We need to, we need to build up some cash right now. We're actually low... We're going to have to do some building of cash. So I think what I want to do is I want us to sit on this. Um, have we got training going on? What's, what's the training costing us? Uh, do, 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 training costs are actually, yeah, tra training costs are actually adding about 25 on our bill. Okay. Um, which is taking a chunk out of that. We're doing this slowly as well, which is uh, taking another 50 out. So yeah, that's, that's accounting for it. So I think what we do is we just, um, we wait for a while actually. I want to get the funds up. So we're going to actually run forward in time until we get to, uh, we're probably looking at, I don't know actually, do, do we want to run a mission? Like this, this mission we can do um, high altitude, but the second we do that one, we don't have this one anymore. So I think we want to complete this one just for the, the completion aspect of it. We're not in a hurry to do this. We don't have anything ready. So I think we just, uh, we're going to warp along to probably the bio, the bio launch, which is going to be in a couple of, couple of months. So we're going to rush that through now. Right, just in the um, space plane hangar, because we've got our craft back. And the thing that came off was these bits, the ends of the wings actually ripped off. We are very lucky that we didn't lose the whole craft because we did lose the end wing section. You see, so these tiny little bit of procedural parts that are fixed on the end in white, they they were ripped off. That's what was actually ripped off. So we did a bit of pulling up and popped those off. They are supersonic, but obviously the force on the tips of them was just so much that it just it just ripped them off. So um, we are lucky we survived that. We don't have anything else on the craft, so it was them. I remember seeing that the, these did just at the end. It didn't look quite right. Um, it would also explain why when I was turning, it was a little bit different and a little bit, its flight characteristic after re-entering, re going back through the atmosphere was a little different to normal. Um, so we're going to save those edits. It's only going to take us, uh, I'm not entirely sure that's accurate, one day and nine hours to fix the wings. Um, the good thing is in my head that although it takes uh, like 16 hours to do that, it's not going, it's not going to be that. We're actually going to, um, we'll prep it for air launch. It takes two days. That's fine. Um, we're not going to use this for so long. It, it doesn't matter. We're actually going to hold out on it for a while. Uh, we're going to pull this over here. I'm actually going to pull this back onto this setting. I wish there was a little clicky button I could press to do it. We're going to go through all of these. So we're going to warp through. So that's that's done. We've got mission prep is done for mission training complete. The following chains of it. So Roy Reeves is ready for a mission. We got proficiency coming up for our other pilot, our third pilot. I'm now wondering whether we need three pilots. I think we might have hired next one, but you know what? Given the fact we just ripped a wing off or two bits of wing off, having an extra pilot is probably a positive, uh, just in case we need them. Uh, so Elsie Gray is now done there we go congratulations Elsie Gray uh, we're going to put you in for uh, training uh, mission x1 Elsie Gray start the training and you'll notice we can now train proficiency in the x15 cockpit um, can I do that for Roy it takes 130 days 
it takes him out of rotation for 130 days as well which is probably a good thing actually so we're going to put that there i'm going to get claire wood on the alarm we're going to get roy on the alarm we're going to get elsa gray on the alarm she's now going to be the pilot of that that craft because roy and claire woods are going to do the proficiency training on the x-15 one of them is going to fly it when we get it um if they're still around they should be i think they their retirement dates are pretty far in the future like 69 or something like that so we should be we should be okay for that it's not going to take me that long to get there um right we're gonna we're gonna rush through again get the old mission program out the way for for elsie see she'll be fine she'll go off soon at some point we'll, we'll check when when it's actually worth sending her we're not in a mass hurry um we're gonna get the dart going that's just going to launch. In fact, we'll do that this this episode. Uh, come on, hurry up all the way through, please. Thank you. Get that mission done. Superb. Close that. Confirm the alarm. She is done. So, yeah, there we go. We've got the two of them uh, done. We've got Elsa Grit. Now, let's actually... Can I actually go... So, she doesn't have a time on it. I don't know how the, um, the mission proficiency works. I'm sure it used to run out. I'm sure it used to have, like, a set time that we run out oh they're all around 60 oh that's problematic i didn't realize they were all around the same range so we may end up with them retiring because they're not going to do anything much interesting um right where's the research situation hypersonic flight is a biggie can i go all the way up with it whoa no we can't we are ahead of schedule actually so one not point nine five that's still ahead of schedule we're still ahead of where we should be those are on target hypersonic flight is well ahead and then orbital rocketry is yeah whatever i do want to try and get the speed up on this though so um let's have a look we're gonna we're gonna rock through to the biodart just get that done getting a bit of funding coming in now what's the funds looking like actually how much is that cost i haven't even looked at how much that training cost and it's it's not too bad oh we're down we're down we're down um we can now go to uh 519 Ooh, good so where we go claire wood is back um i'm tempted to get her to do that proficiency training as well if i'm going to do it claire wood could you please start that training what's it going to cost me Retirement increased by that. Okay, we do that. It's gonna it's gonna bump them, isn't it? Might as well. Um, that's gonna bump them. Give me uh, an alarm for that. An alarm for that. Just check. Are they in? Get rid of Roy's. Don't need two for him. So that I'm using the alarm setting, by the way, button here, just so that it keeps me on keeps me honest. Um, I believe it comes up. Yeah, it does come up here as well, which is quite nice. But I do like using the old alarm clock. Um, right. Let's run forward to the the dart. 22,000 funds in the bank. We're going to need a lot more than that because we're going to need to spend about 100 odd on these just when we start thinking about orbital flights. Right. <clears throat> Croom walk. Here we go. Uh, that's ready. We're going to roll out the dart. That's going to take eight days because it takes time. Um, right. This is the thing I'm starting to debate. I need this engine. Can I move stuff up? Do I need mature supersonic flight? That gives me the better engines, which I think get me a good a good shot at doing a lot of the the high Mach stuff. I think I can do Mach 2 with it. So I think that gets me Mach 2. So that would finish the... Right, this is where we have to start balancing a bit. That would finish my space plane, the, the X planes, apart from the Kármán line. So we'd be waiting on the Kármán line craft here. Do that, takes us to about here. Kármán line craft about here. We'll be cutting it close, but we should be able to do it. We can do high altitude already, so it's just those two getting out of the way, and then the Kármán line is get to the Kármán line, come back down, I think. Right, so that would be done. This one, I can do... I can do with that, with that orbital engine straight off the bat. That then opens up going for this one and this gives big money that would be a massive increase over this so it's 35 this would take us to 100 you know 100 and 150 thousand a year more so that's a big push um 
So I think I want to do that. I think I want to get this done and get onto the heavy as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to... That's one, two. That's two years. Two and a half years. Right, okay. Two and a half years from now. That takes us to 56, 57. That means we're going to finish two years early. About here. That means we could start the heavy then. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I'm tempted to move the mature supersonic out the way. Um, Because we will have the craft and we're just going to operate the engines. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move that up. What does that do for us? Yeah. And we're going to gain a bit back because we're going to, we're going to shorten this because we're not going to have the person impacting it that they currently are. Right. It's a lot of, it's a lot of balancing in this episode, isn't it? That's 53 days until that's ready. So yeah, we're, we're well ahead of the old schedule with that. Um, and once that's done, we'll actually have a load of staff that we can just not use. They can just be sat around not doing anything. Um, and I think you pay less when that happens. So that would be a positive for us. Right. Uh, let's check what missions we got. So that one we're not going to do right now. We've got this one, which got another 70 days. And then we, I want to finish that. So this will be the final one of this set, just to get it for completionist state, sake done. Um, these ones here, this is the one I want to do. It's got a lot of stuff sitting on it right now. This one we cannot do with that jet. I don't think it'll go to 450. Um, I think this is a requirement X planes program. What's the mission X planes supersonic? The low supersonic we can do with that plane. We need the operated engines for this one. So that's going to pause. Equally, the rocket plane is going to be paused, but we're going to have two of them running parallel once we actually do get stuff going. So that's okay. Um, I think we have to start thinking about adding more research staff which I don't really want to do. Um, let's hire, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-five. There we go, twenty-five's in. We're still making a hundred a day. Okay. That makes me feel better. This now starts to be a problem, the hypersonic flight, because it's coming even sooner. Uh, but we could move mature supersonic up now and feel better about it. Yeah, I could actually do that. That would make me feel better. So we can start pushing with that that jet anyway. Right. Yeah. I think I think I feel better about this. I think I think I think I like it more. Right. Um let's roll that out. We're still getting money. We're still getting money funds in. Because every time we roll something out, it costs us funds. Um, right, we're going to launch the dart. And we'll just get some science out of it. <clears throat> and then we'll bring it back down. And we've got an atlatl to do a downrange contract, which is uh, one of these. Where are we? One of these. Downrange. Blubby blubbies. Um, we could do the difficult one, actually. Because I don't foresee us doing much more of these. Once I think once we take or complete the downrange ones of a certain point, we're going to lose these. We're going to try and finish this off. We just got the, the big downrange ones to do, so we might as well just go for the big one. We've got 15 days to wait anyway. That's going to take another 10. So let's launch the, the bio and let's see how it goes. All right, here we are. Everything looks good. We just check the old bio canister. We're going to set things off. No doubt we'll have an engine failure on this one after waiting so long for it to, to do its stuff. But again, we're not we're not in a massive hurry for this, so let's see. Uh, everything is good. Engines on max. Fire the engines. Off we go. Fire that up into the atmosphere. We've got the 16 seconds of burn or whatever it is to start with. We're going to speed this up a bit. Get it on up there to about there. Slow it down. We're going to light our candle there, and then we're going to decouple. There we go. And we are off, and then we can speed this up a bit more. Those are going to blow into each other. Wonderful. And this thing is go, 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 go. I, you know what? I really like this rocket, even though it's got this horrible lump in the middle of it. I mean, we have very much shoehorned the biological sample into it. Um, I just I just really like the craft. I just, as a, as a launch vehicle, 
with the Spectre engine on this and the two sort of uh, Sprite engines at the start. Absolutely love it. We could go for a, a Sprite stage here and it is still a, a pretty viable rocket actually, but the Spectre is just a lovely engine. It really is. Um, it was originally built for rocket planes and things like that. Um, we are sort of misusing it, but the British did this. They took every engine they had on a rocket plane at some point, even if it was designed for... for I mean, you look at... Um, the best example of it is the... Uh, I'm going to decouple all this. The best example of it is were the um, the Stenter engine. Obviously, the, the Stenter engine, the, the cruise stage of that became the Gamma engine, which was then used on Black Arrow and things like that. But the Stenter engine was originally developed for... Was it the Blue Steel nuclear strike missile so it was basically like a, a mini plane it was designed for it was a missile that was carried under or inside of Bombay or whatever it is. and it was basically a little mini plane it was designed for horizontal cruising um, that's where the cruise stage comes from where it was burning for a longer time it had a boost stage that was a bit bigger um, I think I think that's the way it was and then a little cruise stage that became the gamma engine um, so so the British did this they they did a lot of sort of mix and match in between planes and and rocket engines um and to be fair the, the british in general had a big habit at the time of you know going oh you know what we've got this let's stick it on a plane and see what it does i mean you, you look at concord's wings were tried on various different fuselages they've tried this i mean it's not the first time they did it either anyway enough of that we're going to arm the parachutes um because we are about to finish all of the science there we go Earth space low, so there's no point launching any more biological uh, samples in. We can cancel all those, which means I think we can close down that pad. I think we can we can actually just we can mothball it, which will be something fun. We can do that now. So we're gonna anyway we're gonna rush this down, uh, all the way down. Uh, 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 oh, I'm going too fast. We're gonna hit the atmosphere. It's gonna be horrible, isn't it? Oh no, it's alright. The batteries are dying. We are about to lose batteries. That's fine. Oh, we're gonna get the science as we go through the atmosphere. I forgot about this. I always forget that we get the science on the way through. So there is some science still to get. Now we've got six minutes, six minutes of the science. Um, I'm wondering what the best way to do deal with that is. Do we just, um, I might just st stick one of those on a rocket plane and send it up. It might be an idea. Just strap one, strap one to the rocket plane and send it on up and get it to gather some science. Because six minutes, we could do that. So we might actually do that if we um, <laughs> if we run out of stuff to do. We might actually just modify our rocket plane once it reaches its limits. Um, once we get to the sort of 75 kilometer limit on it. And we'll just prep it um, with a biological sample. We'll stick it inside like the cockpit area or something like that. Um, and see if it works. It should work. And then um, we can just get it to do stuff and things. We just get it to do its stuff. Um, which would be a good idea actually. It's a bit of a cheaty way of doing it. I was considering a playthrough where we did British and we did um, simplifying it, uh, planes first. Uh, the problem is I'm having a debate as to how easy it would be to actually do that, being British, because um, rocket engine wise, I don't think it's very possible. But you know, right, comment down below. Do you want me to see me try and do that to try and get through the early game? and get to Carmen Line Crude maybe, or something like that, to actually take the rocket plane route um, without doing any sounding rockets, that's maybe an idea. I do think that the rocket plane sort of programs need to be um, uh, produced differently so that you can actually try and force yourself to do that route, because I think it'd be a really cool route to go if you decided we're not going to build rockets, we're actually going to build rocket planes, we're going to you know develop it from the, the horizontal instead of the vertical launch approach. Um, but anyway, that's a thought. Maybe maybe I need to write myself some programs and, co and contracts to match them. That would be potentially very interesting. I have to look into that. Um, that might not be easy to do. It might be easy to do. I don't know. I did I did play around a while ago with mission sort of design, but yeah, I've I've avoided it because it looks a lot like um, um, work. I think is the real answer. Yes. <laughs> no, um, I, I think it's something I would quite like to do. Um, having done some configs for the engine and stuff, just playing around with it, that's been reasonably fun. I can't model engines. So if you are any good at doing engine modeling, that'd be wonderful. But 
yeah, um, I'm not the I'm not the design the engine model person. Anyway, the parachutes are open. Let's get this thing down, and then we shall um, see what's happening. And with the end of the mission comes the end of my rambling. If I've left that in, I apologise, and you know, please tell me off for it. If I've cut it out, you've all missed an amazing discussion about how the British use rocket engines on planes. That's all I'm saying, and you, you, you know what, you, you're missing out. So anyway, so anyway, yes. Um, credits. We've got a bunch of credits from that for for science. We've got biological sample for Earth space low. So the Earth space low is done. We don't need to send any biological samples up there anymore. And we've got a little bit out of Earth flying high. Um, we still got about, what, four to go from that. So potentially one more launch is, is sort of going to do it. Um, let's have a look what else we got. We've got recovery of vessel after suborbital flight. Didn't get anything for that. Got a bit of funds for that. Um, and we're done. So going to integration. In the dart area, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna scrap all of these. There we go. Scrap that. Scrap that. There we go. And then for the dart, I want to dismantle it. So are you sure you want to dismantle the current selected launch pad complex? Dart launch complex. This cannot be undone. Yes, we want to get rid of it. Right. Uh, dismantle failed. Uh, pad can't be. Oh, is it because it's doing something? Where is it? Oh, it's it's currently taking 10 days to recondition. All right, let it recondition. We'll, we'll let all these things happen. Right, that can roll out. Uh, we'll let this recondition, and then we'll try again. So, integration. Let's go to Dart Dismantle. I want, yes, I want to do it. Right, has that saved us money? No. Oh, we've got a rollout going on. Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at funds. So uh, integration teams, uh, facilities. Yep, so it's saved us a little bit of funds. Okay, not a huge amount. It's probably saved us very little, but we are doing that. Right. Um, integration teams, we've got that one there doing that. And then we've what else have we got? Construction is costing us 48 because we've got javelin construct, constructs going on. Okay, so... At the moment, we only actually have one active pad, which is the, the Atlatl, because the Javelin isn't been built yet. I've just realized that's going to take a while, 600 days or whatever. Um, yeah, so that we, we've got to wait until we get to here. We are eating away at this nicely. That's working away. So I am going to pause it there. We're going to pause it there. We're going to think about what we're going to do with the Crummock and all that sort of stuff. We're going to think about what's the next sort of steps we do have a load of atlatls ready and waiting so that's not a problem um, and stuff like that the javelin's going to take uh, two years to sort out the pad for so that's going to take us to to 56 which is a little closer than i would like so we may want to up that uh, we want to get a bit of funds built up but so there we are that's where we are um, from me until next time have a great one so if that was good for you, check out on the screen right now some links you can see other videos you might like. Check out the channel, see if there's any playlists you like. There's also some links to other content creators there you might like. Or leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, do all those things.